Hi, Rick Lineker here. I am going to try to dispel the confusion about using floats in your program. This program will actually use integers and floats, so we can talk about the interoperability of the two. So let's first do that. Let's declare a float called age. And we're going to declare another variable, an integer variable, called a other age. I'm going to set the float age to 5.4 um, and then I'm going to set the other age to 5. And you note both of those assignments are legal because floats support decimal points and integers support only uh, fixed points or just e whole numbers. Okay. Now you can set age equal to other age if you want. And what it will do, it will do its best to take the 5 and make it a 5 and the, the integer and convert it to a float. But the compiler will warn you about that. So what I would do to make sure that you don't get the compiler warning is what's called a cast. You cast in front of it and you say, I understand that's not a float, but I want you to give it to me as a float. You can also go the other, other way and you can say other age equals and we're going to cast it to an int because other age is an int. And if you do this, what you're saying to the compiler is, I know that the variable I'm getting is not an integer, but it's okay. Do your best to give it back to me um, like an int. Okay, so let me get rid of this stuff and let's do a real program now. Let's say um, age, make it a float. And now let's ask someone for their age. What is your age in years? Okay, scan F. Now here, instead of a percent %D, we want a percent %F because we are dealing with a float. Ampersand age, and there you go. And this is going to allow someone to type in their age, and it will, if they type in a decimal number, it will correctly respond and store that into the float variable. Now let's do a printf and say you said your age is, here again we need a percent %f because that's what we're dealing with. Let's say age, compile this guy, run him, and if we say 23.45, that's what it's going to tell us. Now, if you notice, you get a bunch of um, useless decimal places past there. So really, the way to do that, if you want to limit the decimal places, you can say 0.2f, and that will just give you those two decimal places. So let's see, 23.45, and there it goes. It truncates it to two decimal places. And by using this, you can set it to whatever number of decimal places you want. Um, unfortunately, um, it doesn't just know that you have two decimal places and give you only two decimal places, but uh, that's a story for another day, actually. Um, you can also say age, multiply it by, say, 2.3, and it will give you a number. Let's say multiplied by 2.3 is... By that guy, say 23.45, and there you go. Okay, so this concludes a really simple explanation of float variables. If you have any more questions, please ask me, and I will do my very best to respond. Thanks.